Hi, I'm Rachel, and welcome to my channel, La Bricoleuse, where I share techniques, career advice, and book recommendations from over 25 years working as a costume craftsperson. Locking hats is a process probably best learned through mentorship or apprenticeship. But many artisans with a desire to explore this craft lack the opportunity to study with an experienced hatter. Luckily, there are videos and demonstrations, such as my playlist of blocking content. But what about books? What if you learn best from printed media or are in search of references for your studio library? As a theatrical milliner, I make hats of all styles from throughout history across cultures, even fantastical creations that only existed in a costume designer's imagination. And as an academic, I've done extensive research into millinery methods and materials, as well as hat renovation. I've read dozens of volumes in the process of choosing textbooks for my classes and reference library. Honestly, there isn't a lot on the record about hat blocking. Most books focus only on fashionable feminine styles in buckram, wire, and other decorative materials and trim. In this video, I'll share my top three titles for making hats with the blocking process from felt and straw, as well as other blockable materials. The first title is Basic Millinery for the Stage by Tim Dial, published in 2002. This book is aimed at a reader with some experience making costumes for theatrical purposes and approaches the topic of hat making from that perspective. The relevant chapter here is a 12-page section at the end on blocking in felt and straw, illustrated with black and white photographs. Dial has written this manual as a possible textbook for a theatrical millinery class and provides suggested exercises at the end for practicing blocking techniques. The second title is From the Neck Up, An Illustrated Guide to Hat Making by Denise Dreyer, published in 1981. Like Dial, Dreyer also comes from a theatrical millinery background, but her book is more academic and in-depth than basic millinery for the stage. She states in her preface that one of her goals is to preserve millinery knowledge and that her intended readership extends from the amateur to the professional to the academic and historian. She includes two chapters on blocking methods, one for felt and one for straw. She also provides information on composition and quality levels for both materials, specific stitches to use, finishing techniques, and more. These chapters include hand-drawn illustrations, research image engravings, and black and white photos. The third title is Scientific Hat Finishing and Renovating by Henry L. Ermatinger, published in 1919. Written by a second generation hatter, this is the authoritative text on the trade. The book explains blocking, reblocking cleaning and renovating felt and straw hats. He covers tools and equipment specific to blocking, such as the rounding jack, puller down, flange stand, and more. In addition to a wealth of information on the hatter's craft, Irma Tinger also provides a fascinating glimpse into the details of running a successful hat business at the turn of the 20th century. One caveat, this book predates the establishment of OSHA in the U.S. Consult with a health and safety expert before implementing some of his suggestions. Particularly those involving gasoline, methylated spirits, and asbestos. And that concludes the best books, in my opinion, for learning the blocking method of making hats from both felt and straw hat bodies, as well as other blockable materials. If you explore the craft of hat blocking further, please comment with your experiences. I would love to see photos of the styles you create. This video is part of the Costube Does Booktube Challenge. Check out the playlist for other book recommendations on costume-related topics.